Hey, what's up, soul family? It's Sarah, the Mediterranean goddess here. And I am coming to you with a love reading. I'm going to try to start doing um, several love readings, but do them shorter in a shorter amount of time. Okay, so let's go ahead and just dive right into this love reading. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Join the family, hit the like button, subscribe. And if you rock with me, y'all know how we do around here. You know what I'm saying? We get led by the spirit around here. So let's just go ahead and get into this love reading. All right. So spirit, Holy Spirit, I come to you and I ask for a clear message when it comes to love. For my collective. Get a clear message. All right. Mm. We got something good coming in here. It says distant horizons and great future. Ooh, great fortune. I said great future. So that's a channel message. So you're going to have a great future. So I don't know what you have dealt with. In the past, when it comes to love, um, but you have a great uh, family room. You have a great future fortune coming in here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing that this person that you are meant to be with in your life um, will have, either does have some sort of money or will have some sor sort of money. And it's like, uh, it could be inherited or the money is something that um, is just in his destiny or hers right just it could be a, a male or female just take it how it resonates you guys all right so let's get some other cards i don't know why i grabbed the kipper deck because it's a love reading so normally i would grab some other love cards so let's go ahead and do that but spirit had me pulling from the kipper deck so okay Ooh, true love and chemistry here so this person that you're dealing with right now or that is coming in, because this says distance horizon, so that means that you might, ooh, I heard he, he's coming in towards you or she's going to be coming in towards you. This is going to be a very solid relationship. Also very playful with very open communication here. But it's like you guys are going to be able to weather the stormy seas. You guys are going to be each other's anchor. I heard anchor to the community. Hmm. I just I just heard that you guys will anchor your family lineage. So this true love here says it's a romance of a lifetime. So it's like... This is um, packed with chemistry, right? What else, Spirit? I'm going to get this tarot deck here. What's coming in for love? It says distant horizon. So this, this love is soon to be. Wow. I just heard that song. I got the power. So you hold... Um, I, I just heard you hold somebody's heart. You're very beautiful, very attractive. You have a lot of passion and you're driven by spirit. And your person really digs that about you. They see you as a divine counterpart and they want commitment and marriage with you here. They want to be able, yeah, look at that. I just heard spirit say, I. I see lifetimes with you and I have been with you in many lifetimes before. 
This is a star legacy. This is a, uh, wow, that's cool. It's like, um, it's a galactic love. It's a galactic legacy. This is a galactic legacy love. Wow. They may not have um, spoken about it yet. But they, they plan on wanting to come and collaborate with you. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, they see you as beautiful, abundant, radiant. I just heard radiant, strong. Their ancestors are telling them that they would be abundant and fruitful if they would go towards you. Wow. Wow. They know that when they make this choice, that it will be a very successful love, a holy matrimony, a holy matrimony. <laughs> I'm hearing, here comes the bride. So I don't know, marriage card might come out in this deck. Let's go ahead and get some romance angels real, real quick like. Yeah, remember how I said earlier, this is going to be a very playful kind of love. It's a very playful love. So Spirit is asking that you forgive yourself. That you forgive and learn from different mindsets that have kept you... Um, that have kept you seeing your true beauty... So spirit wants you to understand your true, your true beauty. Yeah, free yourself from any kind of codependency, guys, for this love to actually um, solidify. You know, go within yourself. <clears throat> I'm here. My my throat chakra is kind of getting itchy, so it's like you know, really be able to speak your truth. You see how this girl looks? She looks like she's been oppressed. Yeah, because look, people have judged her before or him, right? Judged you. But Spirit wants you to be able to be in your true authentic self because that's what's going to bring in this <coughs> beautiful legacy. Yeah, do some throat chakra work, please, Spirit is asking. Or is it this person? My throat chakra is acting up because this person really wants to tell you something. What do they want to say? I'm going to get this deck over here. This is my personal deck. If you guys want to order from my deck, um, go onto my banner. Click on the link in my bio. You can go buy some of my cards. I'm going to be creating some new decks. I have three decks on there for sale right now. Um, two of them are love. One of them is an ancestor past loved one. And I'm going to be creating a lot more decks. So you guys go check out my decks because they hit in. Spirit be hitting. Spirit be hitting. Mm. Yeah, this person is realizing that, look, dreaming about you. They're dreaming about you. So what does this person want to, what is this, what's on this person's heart? Because they, they're healing still. Okay, wow, look at this. I'm not even gonna say it. You guys are gonna have to read it. Hopefully it's not backwards. I want to eat you out from front to back. I guess I just read it, so I guess it don't matter. <laughs> Sex in our dreams. But they're still in the middle of healing here. See, forgiving and learning and healing, or you might still be. This is the energy could be, you know, swap the energy if you need to. But somebody here is forgiving and learning. They're learning themselves. And they're understanding that they can stand on their own two feet. And they're learning to heal. And they're learning to speak up. Yeah, look. You got animal spirits around you that are helping you heal. And they're guiding you. And they're protecting you. But...
Somebody also here feels like they maybe this energy is like um they feel like they maybe haven't didn't treat you. What is that energy? Let's let's see. Which one? This one? What's this energy of, of this real quick? Mm. They feel like they they had many chances to come towards you and they didn't, you know? Um, and they hope that that is not going to come in between um, like how you feel about them, you know? They just want you to kind of just be a little understanding that they're still healing as well okay so i'm going to just get a couple more cards this is another one of my decks real right here i'm gonna get a couple more cards i'm gonna end this reading all right spirit is there anything else this person wants to say yeah this person is reflecting right now and learning to take care of themselves more or you or spirit saying you um you might be overcoming some some either some like bad eating habits or drinking habits or like just reflecting on things that you know oh, this energy is kind of it's it's necessary but it's kind of heavy you know it's just an energy of Somebody having to spend time alone to reflect and heal because they have habits that hurt them, you know, and it stems from inner childhood wounds, right? So learning to forgive and heal these inner childhood wounds. Um, and then here we have the promise, you know. This is a promise. This is written in the stars here. Okay. I heard dream come true. This is a dream come true. All right. Love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back.